Hello everybody, this is Valhalla Gaming TV and it's the channel that plays everything so you don't have to. We are back again with Satisfactory. In this episode, I'm going to try to work on some rotors and uh, maybe get those plates I need for the space elevator. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you guys didn't know about my Discord, I made one and it's in the description below. Go ahead and join it if you guys want to, you know, be a part of the community a little bit more in depth. And also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so we can get up to that thousand subscriber mark and get this stuff all you know, monetize, it'd be great. Now I can make this a job. All right, everybody, let's get back into it. All right, fix it. Kudos OS. As we start off every time. Okay, the last episode we worked on this awesome factory, which we're pushing out reinforced. Let's see, plates now. I'll pick those up. And we're gonna need quite a bit of that. Wait a minute. Did I just pick up 20 of them? Oh, I have 100. Okay. I didn't see that stack. Okay. So, now the next thing I need to do is I need to make rotors. So I can make those other plates. But we gotta find another source of iron. And I also need to figure out how much iron I'm gonna need to bring in in order to equal this one. Because it's making 10 a minute. And I gotta equal 10 a minute with the rotors. So what we can do... Let's head this way. I can probably... Oop, almost broke my legs. I can probably uh, take some of the ore off of one of these miners over here because we already got like plates and stuff going on over there. I know we don't got plates going separately. Let's see. Maybe there's something else we can look for. Another iron ore node. Oh, that one's not taken. Let's see what this one is. We shall head this way if we can find a good one. If it's a normal node or something, it'd be cool if it's another pure one, but I don't think it will be. Watch it be in pure. That's going to be my luck. Big money, big money, no whammy. Oh, it's a pure node. Oh my god. Pure node. Perfect. Okay. That's 120 ore per minute. Okay. Ore per minute. Alright. OPR. Or OPM. OPM. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's build some here. Yeah, we're gonna do the rotor factory. We got 120 coming in. That should be plenty. We did that with all that with 120. All right, we gotta go make ourselves a little manual drill. If I can make one of those drillers, and we gotta build a little platform over here, and we connect them in the middle, and make those plates and drag it right over to the space elevator. It's gonna work perfect. Nobody told me nothing about that. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Okay. Um. But yeah. Real. All right, we made it back to the hub. Now, I want to do something. I was talking about it before, but I kind of like, you know, got off track. So let's build this thing. Portable miner. I need one of those. So I got off track because I was going to make the, the jumper things. The jelly pad and the jump pad. I want to see how far this thing will launch us. But I definitely want to be like land. Oh, it actually shows you where. That's cool. Can we make it go further? Is that as far as it goes? And I think we just do multiple jump pads, right? Interesting. Oh, it needs rotors, too. It's always the rotor. Okay. I can probably make, like, a little traversal thing with this. It takes five megawatts, though. That's kind of spendy. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. Well, we got the drill, so that means that I should be able to make the other stuff. And then the rotor, I got enough for to make the assembler. And then we got that, constructors. Okay, we should be good. I'm gonna run over here real quick. Go get some of that copper wire that's being built over here. All this stuff needs to be, you know, refined and made better. I got two good areas going on over here though. I got that sweet power station I made, which I'm really proud of. And then I have that awesome reinforced uh, factory. Now that I've gotten a lot of this down, it's going to get good. It's going to get good. I'll be able to make big factories. They're all going to be sweet. Look at this, almost full. Get two stacks of that. That should be plenty. I got plenty of cables still. So shouldn't have to worry about that too much. All right, let's head back over. Oh my god, on the way I found a blue slug. Check it out. Wait, what's that? Oh. Bitter. Eh. Okay. Bitter, come on. 
Oh. Pre he pre-shot me. And smack. All right, let's get that blue power slug. I'm glad I got bigger inventory now. Here we go. This is the pure node. So where are we going to build a factory? I want to get it closer over there. Maybe I'll just put it through this way. And then the other factory can go like over there on the right. And then I'll just go straight to the space elevator with it. Yeah, let's, let's get that started. Also, I got mentioned in the comments to start putting things in my hotbar. And you know, you're probably right. So that's what I'm going to do. I probably want to have these. Let's go with uh, number five. Number six, number seven. And which else do I want? What else? Uh, storage. I use a lot of those. So eight. And anything else? Maybe constructor. Under nine. And smelters under zero. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do that. Now I got some stuff. Now we got some found. Oh, a foundation probably would have been a good idea, huh? Yeah, whatever. You don't got enough space, man. Um, how are we gonna do this? We need to be on a higher point. So probably over here. The way these dunes work. Start it over this way, and we'll go that way. And we can make some ramps and stuff. Here we go. This is high as it is. We got the zoop building mode. Yeah, we'll go like right there. Go straight up. Just like that. The zoop mode is the best mode. I think that's like a 5x10 now. Let's see what that is. 2, 4, 5. Yeah, 5x10. Five be a good starting point. And I'll probably just pull the node from here and just pull it right over here, kind of like I did the one over there. And then I'll start building the factory once I get it up here. And we definitely need those MK2 conveyor uh, belts because we got some speed here, okay? We're gonna get a lot, like 120 coming out of this bad boy. Line it up a little bit. I think that'll do. And I'll just do this for now. And then put it in straight mode. But I need to be able to get up here. That's problematic. Okay. So let's build some ramps. Foundation, ramps. Boot mode. That'll work. There we go. We got some ramps. Now we can get up there on this bad boy. Like I can grab it from there, that's good. Um, why are you doing that? You don't gotta turn. I want it straight on here. Wait, can I just turn this like this? Turn. Oh, it doesn't want to turn. Too many issues with this. All right, we'll just go like that. We gotta do that with the other one too. Okay. We also got this power line that goes straight over there, so we can connect it directly to this. It'd be great. No issues. Actually, matter of fact, we can just do this. And it should start mining and pushing resources. Okay, so what I gotta do first is I got to figure out how much I need. So I'll put a constructor, and I'm definitely gonna need an assembler. I need to know the numbers. So in order to make a rotor, I think we needed screws and rods. So five screws, or 25 screws and five rods. Okay. So what we're gonna need to be able to do here, this makes 40 screws, right? 40 per minute. So if we needed 25 screws, How much is that going to work out to until we can actually equalize it? Oh, so for four rotors per minute, we want 100 screws per minute. Okay, 
but we want to have at least... Uh, it looks like we can go with eight. So we need 200 screws per minute. And that's more than the other one. And 20 rods per minute. I'm pretty sure one of these puts out 10 rods, right? Like one to one. Recipe, rods, nope, 15, okay. So it wants 20 rods. That's easy enough. Man, okay, the screws are a problem. So it wants 100 screws. If there's 40 apiece, Okay, how many, how many times does four go? It, it doesn't work out. Because uh, three of them would be 120. So it's going to get more than it needs. We'd actually have to have like 10 of them. To equal this out, because it'd be 400. Huh. Or no, no, no. Five of them, because we can do 200. Okay, so if we wanted two of the... Okay, so we'd have to have... And they make 40. That would equal up to five constructors would equal 200, which would equal for two of these. Make eight rotors per minute. And this one needs 40 per minute, which is definitely not going to equal out, which is like we need three for the rods. I don't think we got enough resources to do that. Huh. Not adding up, man. Okay. So, what we need is at least do the 200 screws. And then the rods, I guess, we'll figure out at the end. Get rid of this. So we need at least five constructors doing screws. Which equals up to ten constructors. Equals a lot of power. I might have to extend the power station, we'll see. And also, we have to split these off, right? So, let's get a constructor going. We also we need smelters first, though. All right, hold on. My brain's going a mile a minute, man. So if I do this, we need rods first, of course, because that's what we make screws out of. And it takes in 15 per minute. Okay, so we can split those in the right way. And then we need 10 iron rods per minute. So two iron rod constructors can fuel three of these. Okay. That's interesting enough. So we need four of these with rods. Which it takes in 15 apiece. 30, that'd be 60 total. So basically just split this in half and then split those in between those. Alright, let's, let's see what we can do with this. We got a splitter. So I'm going to want to probably have it go over here. Like that. And then this one's gonna go off this way. And that way. So when I split the 120, it should go to 60 over here and 60 over here. That means that I have a, a very belt of 60 coming this way and I just need to split it off four times. And then we got 60 on this side as well. Which I should probably extend this platform out a little bit more. This makes your brain hurt, man. You gotta do a lot of thinking in this game. Okay, and then this will be 60. Get those straight conveyor belts, because those are sweet. And then... We'll go out like this. And I should have probably had the straight mode for this. Hold on. I want to make my stuff look good. I guess it already looks good like that, but I'll redo it just in case. So we don't need MK2s yet. We need them for here. So from where the ore is to here, we're going to need MK2s. So open her up. Level level okay that should split off evenly for 60 a piece like that oh I messed up here hold on 
That's 120, that's split off. I don't need to split this one off again right at the moment. Because if this is 120, it splits off here, this is already 60. There's no reason to split that. This one, on the other hand, I do. So, let's leave this one over here. And we're gonna go further out, like right here. And then we'll go out to there. Okay, so that'll split that off. Now I wanna split this off into two again. Now each one of these should be 30. And then we're gonna get a little interesting here. I have them lined up here. That, and we just split it off two more times. So something like this. I guess I can line it up with that. Line it up. Like that, get rid of this. Put another one, like right there. I need to make sure there's enough room though. Yeah, see there's not enough room there. Put it like right there. And I should be able to pull it off just like that. And then this one will pull off like right here, fine. And then this one, also pull off like right there okay and so this is 60 and it's going to split off into 30 and then 30 is going to go this way and that should split those off into 15s and then this one should go over here and also do the same so we should be having 15 per minute on each of those Okay, and then we don't need that there. Get out of there. Since we got 15 on each of those, now we can do the constructors. See if we have enough room the way I set it up. Right. I'm gonna go like, like this. And this one's gonna go over here in front of that. And we're gonna need four of these. Or no, no, we don't need four of those, do we? Hmm. And that won't work either. So the way this works is that we need an iron rod. So 15 per minute. Well, yeah, if we have four of these, we'd have a bunch of iron rods just coming out of here. The amount of iron rods we can produce. All right, redoing. We're doing something like this. I'm just gonna line them up up here. The platform can be big. I'm not really worried about size. I just wanna make sure it works right. We can always condense things later on. So there's one here, two, three, four. And those are all for the rods. So let's pull this one, get rid of that. We're definitely gonna put that back, but I wanna line them up in between the constructors over here. Okay. So these two constructors needs a splitter. Grab the splitter here. Gonna take it in from that direction. And I'll just put it right in the center here. Then it should look good. And the same thing with this one. So get rid of this. Yeah, I can do the mold. There we go. The mass demolish. Nope, not that. It's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay. So now that we have those lined up. Okay. Oh, what happened here? Get in there. Getting deleted. Okay, the other thing we can do too is I can technically make freaking eight things of rods coming through here. I'm just going to do that. Let's get all the rods going and we'll figure out what we can do with them all. Little by little, you know. One, two, three, four. It's going to be like the rod factory. 
we're gonna get these. So we got those two. Need these two. I don't have it lined up right on that one. Like that. And like that. There we go. Go there. We're just gonna line them all up. Make it look cool. So many rods are gonna be made here. Okay, so we have both these being slid off into 60s. That's what we got here. We don't necessarily need this at the moment. So, it's kind of weird how I have that conveyor belt all twisted like that. We don't need that. I guess I am gonna try to make it look good. I got a problem, okay? Things gotta look nice. So, this splitter, we'll put this in the center here. I think that'll work out. Just like that. Get rid of that. I'm probably picking up all that ore I am. Chalk it. Chalk it all. Okay, and this needs to be MK2. Drag it right in there. Okay. Now what we're gonna do here, you know, it's gonna be crazy. Not really, but it's gonna be crazy, okay? So, I need 60s, right? And then, this will be 60 for each. Then I need to, okay, 30s need to go in here. 30, 30, 30, 30. That's what we need. So this splitter is gonna make them into 60s. And then, right in the center, no, not a merger, splitter. We need it right here in the center. Hitting the wrong buttons. Just like that. That's a 30. That's gonna be for two of them. And then this is gonna be a 30 over here. That will be for two of them. And then if we do it correctly, I can just put it in the center here. Like that. Actually, technically I can put it up one more like right there. There we go. Okay, so that'll be 60s, 30s, yeah, just like that. Keep trying to shock things. We'll drag it right into that one. Let's grab this. MK2. That looks terrible. <laughs> That doesn't look good. All right, stop it. Stop it right now. We gotta get this thing like pulling over here or something now. Let's see if I can make it straight that way. Maybe I can put one of these here. Just like that. And then pull this bad boy right from there to here. Holy turn. Now that might work though. There we go. Yeah, that's still better than what it was before. Is he MK2s? Overlapping an object. Make sure that's MK2. Upgrade. Is it going the wrong way? No, it's going the right way. Okay. I got nervous. Iron ore from MK2 belt. All right, we're rolling in. Now we just use the MK1s, right there, right there, and we equally split it off into the 30s on the sides here. Boom. All right, now it's looking good. Got this all worked out. All right, we're going to be making some rods now. Look at that. All the ore it's gonna need. Now the other thing too is that we need to have some uh, power poles going on here. So we got two here. Technically I can just put them in the center here. Go with the center. Power pole. 
Line it up. I think that's lined up. I don't know if it's allowing me to do the, the lock on thing, it's too far away. Looks lined up. Okay. Get another one. Power poles all the way through here. Gotta look behind me so I don't jump off. Okay. Still got some room. Like that. Nope. I messed it up. It's all messed up now. There we go. And right there. Okay, and that should power all of them. I'm just expecting the my power station just be like, Bruh. won't be able to handle it. Fuse pop. Put all these together. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot more power draw. I hope you can handle the power station. Or I gotta make you bigger. I'm getting crazy with these builds. And you go right there. Okay, here it goes. One at a time, I guess. One. Oh, they're on standby mode. Okay. So, I'll just get this iron rod. And we're going to be like control C. And then control V. I'll go like that all the way down. So many rods going to be made. Hope people are ready for this rod factory. Okay. Got all those copied. Now we're going to get them all powered up. Um, oh, oh, I messed up. Oh, no. Uh, oh, God, I messed up. I can't believe I messed up. You guys are probably watching the whole time being like, what is he doing? Oh. Yeah. Yep, I made a boo-boo. I made a big boo-boo. Okay. If you guys can guess what I did wrong. <laughs> okay, you have my permission to laugh. Uh, okay, redo. Redo. So what happened was, we're at ore, the ore stage, okay? We can't, we can't quite make rods out of raw ore. So that's not going to work. And these are all broken to 15s. That ain't going to work either. So I got to get rid of this. I can probably keep the power poles there. Just like that. Oh man, the 30s are okay. You know, this is what happens in these kinds of games, man. You got to have it all planned out. I got to get like a blueprint or something. Okay, well, this might not work. Well, we might be able to put them in the middle here. Okay, let's try this out. So we need smelters. And if I remember right, smelters produce 30 a piece. So we can put these in the center like that. We're gonna need one, two, and then another one and two. See, that was the problem. That was the problem right there. So these should be 60s coming out of here, then 30s right into here. And this should be making iron, which 30 or in, 30 per minute out. Okay. And then we'll just repeat the process on the outside of this. Like it never happened. When things just go right over your head, you know? Okay. Now we got to get these rods going. Or not rods, iron ore for ingots. There we go. And we got to power them up. Okay. Let's uh, power it up. And we're going to power it up with uh, the middle one. There we go. Power this one up. Power it up with the middle one. All right. Let's extend this platform a little bit because we're going to need definitely some more room. Like this. Maybe like three more. And there. Okay. 
Now we'll get those splitters again. But we got two of them coming in now. Those are both, uh, oh, those are 30s. Okay. Yep, each one of those are 30s coming in. So what we gonna do... How did I have it last time? I had a, a splitter for each one, right? So, let's do it like this. We gotta get the constructors out first. Let's do that. So let's make sure there's room in between. And grab a constructor. Nine. We want enough room for the splitters in between. We're gonna do one, two. And I think I need eight. Three, four, five. How dare you? Not placing right. Five, six, seven. That's not placing right either. Okay, so that's uh, two, four, five. And we got six, seven, and that's eight. Okay. And then we're gonna need some splitters. We're gonna go right in the center here, like that. One there, another one here, another one right on that little center mark, another one right there. Too far, like right there. Okay, and then these bad boys are gonna go right into here like that. And it, this should work this way now. Oh, that one's too far over. Right in the center. There we go. Make these things look good. You're in the center too? Okay. There we go. Now these smelters, that one goes there, that one goes there. There we go. That should work. Messed up the first time, now we're fixed. Look at that. Okay, now I gotta get the power poles. So, put them in the center. Actually, put them like right here. That would be fine. Put them on all these little circles. I like these because it kind of gives you a spot to put them. Lines it up. Like that. Having more power poles than not enough is probably a good thing. They're not too expensive. Okay. Don't need that one. And then let's connect it right over here. Or should I connect through the center? I think the center would look better connecting it. Let's get that wire to go down the center right here. This one. It goes right to that one. We got all these connected together. And then I'll connect those machines, the constructors, like that. Everything got quiet. I think it filled up. Okay. Now this is gonna go here. And we'll just line it up like that all the way down. Just like that. You're going there. Everyone in Umo truck is gonna get powered. That should be quite a big factory here. Okay, and then this is gonna be rods. Copy settings. Roll V. Do it for all of these. Let's see if the power, the breaker pops. Keep it going. Come on, all you machines, make these rods. What do we got? 
Max consumption. Oh, up to four. Oh, no, I think we're okay, actually. There we go. We got rods coming. Might be running out of room soon. I have to go. And yeah, we're kind of surrounded, aren't we? That's okay. There's always enough room if you believe in it. All the way down. Like that. And now, we need a minimum of five of these that are going to be utilizing the rods to make screws. Actually, wait, each one of these makes 15. That's 30. We need 10 for the screws. Okay, let's think about this then. So we got 30. How are we supposed to split that into tens? Not very easy to do that. 15, 30, 45, 60. And you can't just split, you have to split them in half. Oh well. Okay, well, we'll just make sure there's plenty then. We'll just go like this. Let's put each one into 15. Make sure there's five. That. That's two, four, five. Got five of them. And then these ones will be extra rods. And if we need more, I can always, you know, cut some of these off, but we'll see. That goes straight here. Like that. Rods are going through. And then you're going to make screws. Copy settings. Control V. And we got to power these bad boys up. Okay. Center. Could probably put the constructors a little further forward, but it'll work. But I like using the, these little circles here. Actually, I guess I can still use them, huh? Let's try that. Put them right there. That's where power poles belong, man. Like it already laid it out for me. Okay. Get those connected. Wires go right over the top. And you're gonna go there. And there. That one's gonna go there. Let's see if we can connect. Probably this one. Just like that. There we go. And we got some screws being made. And these ones are the rods. These are making. 15 per minute, so all three of these together is 45 rods coming out of there. How much do I need for the assembler? I might have to split one of these off. Grab that assembler and let's see. Um, production assembler. What do you need for these rotors? 20 per minute. No, I think that's okay, actually. 40? Yeah, 45? Yeah, it'll be okay. Okay, let's let's try that. We'll just go with what we got here. We got five of these. That should be 200 screws, and we should be getting 45 rods out of that, which should equal enough to do two assemblers. So we'll merge all these together. These ones we can't merge all together. Um, we're gonna have to split these off. Yeah, okay. Let's think about this. These ones can be. So let's get the mergers. The merger right here. Like that. Right in front of that one. Actually, we don't need it on the first one. There we go. Put that right into there. 
Right there. Like that. And this one goes right into this one. Okay. So those are connected. Now these ones. We're going to need MK2s for these. So we can do 40, 80, 120. That can all be one line, and this can be one line, and this will be 40, 80. Yeah. And we're gonna have to split it in half. Hmm. Well, we actually, we gotta have to merge them all together and split it in half, don't we? It's not gonna be as fast as I want it to be, but... I think that's how that's gonna have to work. Six. Let's merge. Merge all these together. And then there'll be a splitter at the end that should split them into a hundred apiece. Because five times four is 200. Get the MK2s going, like that. Oh, that one's not lined up, right? How dare you? We're trying to make a high efficiency system here. You're playing with me. Get that over here. We're gonna need some more reinforced plates, I think. Good thing I got them automatically being made now. Automagically. Okay. And now this is gonna split off over here. We need a splitter, which we can bring this bad boy like right here. Where are we gonna put the assemblies is the question. Let's think about that first. I'm thinking, hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more room over here. And one, not that. You're gonna go right there and do one more. Get these assemblers. So I'm gonna want them to be like right there. And I don't got enough plates. We need more plates. I'm thinking maybe I'll face them that way. But I need room to split this off. Into two. All right, let's go get some more reinforced plates. Let's see what we got over here. All right, we're back over here. Look at that. Got a bunch of reinforced plates. Got 200 of them. There's like uh, almost 400 in there. And the cool thing about having the reinforced plates here and the rotors that are going to be over here, I can straight up just make a platform right in the center over here, and it'll make those plates. Perfect. Perfect. This sulfur. I got to go get it. Go punch it. Come here. I need you for other things. There we go. We're finally gonna make some progress here. Work on that space elevator. Get that thing upgraded. Start unlocking some new tiers. All right. I'm thinking I'm gonna start raising things up so I can walk through my factory instead of jumping over stuff. Do that later too. There's a lot of plans I got. Alright, let's uh let's split this off real quick. Let's see how this is gonna look. If I wanted a splitter, put it like straight ahead over here. Like that. And then we got the MK2 belt. And then right here. I think that'll work okay. MK2. Are oh, you having a hard time? Did I put this wrong? I put this wrong, didn't I? Where's the entrance? Yeah, I think I messed this up. But yeah, that'll work. I'll put it right there. Let's rotate it real quick. Splitter, messed you up. Yeah, I was going in that way. We gotta go in this way. 
just like that. You're going to split off into two. And this one is also going to split off into two. So we're going to need a splitter again. And we can just do that like right, right here. Right in the center. And then grab that. Okay. You know what? I think I'm just going to put the assemblies over here. Let's grab some assemblers. I'm thinking we'll do one like right here. Like that. And one right next to it. Because then I can just be like, this is uh, for the screws. That goes there. And then we're going to need the screws to go up, right? So this is going to be for the rods. Let's bring that bad boy like right here. And that's going to go into that one. Now the other rods are going to go very about too long. It's going to go right here. I messed that up. It's not pretty, man. It ain't straight. It's got to be perfect. Gotta line it up. Like that. There we go. That looks better. And then this one over here is going to have to wrap around. But we need some height on it. So we're going to pick up these bad boys. Like that. And see if that's enough. We actually might want to make it closer. Put it up here like this. And see if we can connect... We actually need MK2s for these ones, don't we? Is there a hundred on here? Yeah, we need MK2s. MK2 belt. Now, let's see if I can connect it from here to there. It looks like it. And from here to there. Oh yeah. It's looking pretty cool. And we're gonna want some rotors off this bad boy. Rotor time. And some power poles. Ain't completely centered. But whatever. I'll live with it. Let's get a power pole right here. And then you're gonna connect there. And there. And boom. Like we're doing it. Gotta get all those screws in there. They're moving. And over here, we are gonna get our organization storage container. We're gonna line them up right in the center here. Little, uh, you know, a couple mergers. Which they're gonna go. Actually, we only need one merger here. Line it up with that. MK1 belts would be just fine for this. And just like that. We are golden. Awesome. We got rotors. Alright. Filling up. It's making four per minute. That's eight. We got ten of the reinforced plates being made per minute, so it's not quite ten, but it'll work for now. Okay. Let's uh, let's make another little factory over here and make those plates. That's what we're gonna do? It's gonna be like a little factory in the middle, but all it's gonna do is connect the two. Gonna be its own little thing. Grab some foundations. Gonna be like, let's go over like five, like that. Let's 
doesn't really have to be that big because it's just going to be an assembler, right? Um, production, assembler. Literally just going to be a platform with an assembler on it. And then just going to send it out. Okay. And then this is going to make the smart plates. Two rotors per minute, two reinforced uh, iron per minute. And then this bad boy is going to go right over here. Too bad I do not have enough room to bring it all the way over here. Too long. So we're going to get creative. We're going to grab this. And we're going to make it go out a little bit. See if that's enough. Is that okay? You okay with that? I think you're okay with it. Okay. Do it like that. Why is it going all the way over there at an angle like that? Straighten it out. The straight mode doesn't always work the way you'd want it to. I just got an achievement. Spaghetti Master. Build five kilometers of conveyor belts. Okay, those are rotors. And now we gotta get that over here. Okay. Platform out. It's gonna look terrible. Looking so terrible. Okay, I gotta get closer. Making like spaghetti platforms, man. All right, we gotta rotate that. Think like that, and bring it over here. I know it's. What's it trying to do over there? Okay, let's jump over here. Breaking my legs. Pull from here. Put the straight mode going. Like that. Let's uh, turn it like that. I think that'll work. We're definitely doing some spaghetti here. <laughs> All right. Too long. You'll be okay right here. Pull it over this way. And lock it in. And we're gonna need a wire. Power pole, can I reach you? Okay, we're, we're powered in. <laughs> All right, now we just gotta get this conveyor belt. Oh, I'm out of iron plates. Good thing I still got this factory over here going. Let's go grab some more. Okay, I got those iron plates. Now we just gotta bring them over here. I'm starting to think I should just build everything off of like one platform. All these separate platforms like this. They don't look very good. I'm just I'm just gonna point that out. Point that out right now. It does not look good at all. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's start off with this conveyor, like stackable conveyors here. Let's do that. Pull that to here. Okay, that shouldn't be the end of the world. Keep it going. Keep them in line. I guess we're just gonna pull it all the way down and let it until we get to the space elevator. Like that. Gotta kind of make an angle out of it. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna go over the top. Oh man, <laughs> this does not look good. Okay. Waiting for those reinforced plates to hit there and then smart plates should be coming out. Oh, there's some right there. And like that. 50 is definitely gonna take a sag, but 
Gonna take a sec to build this conveyor belt, too. I have to build, like, roads and stuff. That would be cool. Alright, we don't want the straight mode on that. I'm like that. I'll go right over the top. Grab some more of these. Maybe put it over here. <laughs> and something like that. I'm just making it work, okay? I'm excited. There we go. Almost to the space elevator. And I don't know if it'll reach from there. Too long. We're almost there. Okay. I'm guessing we can just do a conveyor pull. Let's go with a. Uh, let's go with another one of these real quick. Like that. And hopefully that's at the right angle. Nope. I think we made it. Okay. We made it. Are you connected? You are. Now we just gotta wait for the place to show up. And then, uh, 50 of them will go in here and then we'll be good to go. Alright. Awesome. Let's go see if they're coming. And then I think that'll be the end of the episode. Go check. I see plates. And this terrible conveyor belt system. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks like there's like three of them. Here they come. That's three at a time. It actually might not take that long. Look at that. They're coming like they're supposed to. Not necessarily the fastest. So I think it's every two will make three or something like that. Let's see. Go look at the plates real quick. So one smart per, so two per minute. And then that's uh, for one reinforced plate. You know, technically, since we're making so many of them, I can actually do a lot. More than that. Because it wants two per minute, and I'm putting out... And we can put four of these assemblers over here. How long does it take to make it? 30 seconds? I messed up. Yeah, we need four assemblers. And I don't got rotors. I lied. Crap. Mine. All mine. Thank you, Rotors. Where's another one? Thank you. And thank you. Where's the other one? Rotors for days. Got another one. Got nine. I gotta need 12. Come on, Rotors. Yeah, more than that. There's one. These things definitely don't get put out very quick. Considering that these are making four per minute, which is eight total. And then this thing, yeah, we need like four assemblers to keep up with the demand. Come on, brother. Is that? Oh, look, it's counting up. One out of 50. How many do I got? 12. That's enough. All right. Reinforced plates are rolling in. Yeah, this was not designed well. There's another one. Another one. Put another one over here. like that. And then we'll do something like the manifold thing. 
Get rid of this. Get rid of that one. Okay, so... Interesting part on how this is going to work. Logistics. We got the merger and the splitter. So I think we're going to have to have a splitter that goes up higher. Like that, and then maybe up top. And it takes it in from that side. And then the other one's going to go like... Next to it, like right here. But it'll be on the bottom. And it'll be from this side. Like that. Oh god, I fell. Breaking my legs. And I just gotta repeat it like that, I think. Okay. So you're gonna go... Turn it. Oh, it wants it to go in that way. Okay, so that's how I have that set up. Although I can just have it like this. I'll have it like that. Because I can technically change the splitter down below here. Then I'm getting the materials from behind me. Line it up. There we go. And then turn it this direction. That's that one, that one. We'll do it in the left ports. Like that. And then one more. Like that. And then this one is going to be taking it in the right ones. Right ports. Get rid of that. But it's going to be one higher. So we're going to go like, line it up like that. Put it on top. Like this. And then this one goes in the right port. Top. We already got that one lined up. Right port, up top. So if this works out correctly, I can just have it go right through here. This one. Into that one. And then these should just go straight into here. Like that. To the right one and then to the right one and then these ones go into this one Just like that okay and then this will cut over here and then cut this way it apparently is not lined up I don't really care at the moment. I'm just going to get these connected. I can't even get through here now. I messed it up, man. Okay. And then this needs to be connected. And then this should go to all of them. So we need to make it into smart plating. Smart plating. The last one needs to be smart plating. And then we also need some power. There's not enough power cores going to all these. Let's see. Where'd I put the power cord? In the back over there? Okay, so we can put some more up here. Like one here. One there. One there. Connect all of them. Power to that one. Okay, we got power. And now I'm gonna need to extend this platform one more. All the way there. Get rid of that. And then we gotta have the merger. Merge all of them. So it will go in and go out this direction. So 
technically I can merge there, there. We're gonna need one more merger here, which will go this direction. So this goes into here. That goes over here. Straight across. That one goes in. And then this one goes this way. And they all go down there. And that'll head out. Okay, now I gotta connect the other platforms and we're good. Good to go. Good work. Go straight. You're going right into there. And the other ones, the reinforced plates, you're going on the top. So let's grab you, put you up here. Okay, that should work. All these should get connected. We still got plates going. We got 15 out of 50. All right. I think that's it now. We got all this going. Eventually, these plates will be all finished up. Yep, we got those rotors going everywhere. Perfect. And the plates are coming in. Watch them go in real quick. There's a plate. More. They're just going to keep putting out more and more of those smart plates. Which should fill up pretty quickly. Alright everyone, that was the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, the, <laughs> my factory platforms and stuff are not looking the best. Uh, yeah, but we're getting that space elevator going and we're going to have to revamp all this stuff eventually. But factories are starting to look interesting. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Later. Hey everyone, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. On the bottom of the screen, if you like, comment, share, subscribe, you can support the channel. Also, check out the videos above. That'll take you to more content from Valhalla Gaming TV. Thanks again. Later.